Hey, we're Whiskey Fancies. I'm Chris. And I'm Kara. What do we have today, Kara? We have Nashville Barrel Company. Woo woo. We are doing Battle of the States. California versus Kentucky. Damn. Who are you rooting for? Uh, I don't, I would like to say California because that's where I'm from. But if um, Kentucky wins, that would be proper. That's what Cause it's happened. Because it's bourbon. It's bourbon. Like if California beat Kentucky, that's a crime. It's a goddamn outrage. <laughs> well, we'll find out shortly. Would so, you like to start with the California or with the Kentucky? Well, first, I, oh, I, let's talk about the let, bourbon. Let's talk about it. Sorry. This Nashville Barrel Company, what they do is that they have MGP barrels, and these are both eight-year rise. Ooh. We first got the Kentucky one because I thought that was kind of cool, and then all of a sudden the California distributor theirs. came out, and got to try it. Is there any other states that does this? Because I, I kind of want to collect the states. Collect all 50 states? It's like the quarters. Ooh. Quarters are cool. That would be fun. Yeah. Which, what which barrel your... is yours? I, oh, I'm proofed oh. at 114.38. Ooh, I got 113.46. Okay. So we're pretty close. Okay. Barrel 150, doesn't matter. What's your barrel? Mine's 26. And I do want to say is that when I went to tip it over to wet the cork, to wet the cork and make sure all the goodness from the bottom, there was a lot of black so sediment. So much char. I'm excited. I could see it floating through the I'm bottle. I'm excited. So let's check this puppy out. We can do Kentucky or California first. Oh, no. My nose. Okay, I gotta do Kentucky first. Okay. The smell like a nice, punchy rye. Uh -huh. California doesn't have much of a nose. Wait, go back to it. Go back to it? Mm hmm Okay. They smell related. <laughs> they do smell related. Well, this helps out. They're MGP. Now, whether or not they're from the they same do. warehouse, they I don't know. It smells like MGP. The Kentucky is much stronger on the top on the nose. Get it dizzy. California has got. dizzy. Hmm, it's more softer. Yep. But more delicate in that Ooh. it's not as punchy. There's a niceness. There's something mm. per delicious. I'm I'm gonna go into the Kentucky. I'm just gonna taste it. I forgot. I forgot about this. When we first tried it, it was a while ago. When we first tried it, I actually get bubblegum. You know, like yeah. the big lead chew or like, you know, the bubblicious when you're a kid? I thought that was this wild. And you wait in the aisle lines at the grocery store. Did the I say that wrong? The... Yeah, that too. You would smell the, all those bubblegum flavors. This is just a regular pink one. When I was laughing, mm. I got that. That mint that shows up on the back of the Trident right, or original. Oh. When I was laughing, I could taste it. I was like, oh. Nice for you. I'm glad I didn't. I get the bubblegum note you're talking about. It's fun. I think I need some water in between these because they're kind of proofy buggers. It has a sweetness and the finish. It continues to go, but it's not like a hot pepper finish. It's It's got a sweetness to it that it just stays. Like, it's still there. Yeah. This is nice. It's caramely with uh yeah with herbal. So it's a very bourbony like rye. It's sprinkled with herbal. Yeah. So you know it's not pure bourbon. Yes, but this could be. We don't have the Nashville, though, so do we? No. Okay. Uh, Kentucky is winning so far. Well, first sip. That's why they're winning. Yeah, no the competitors. California does have a small. It has a um a, a nose you have to search for. No, I'm almost getting pencil shavings slightly. I'm not. Which is weird on a rye. It's floral and pencil shape. Oh my god, it's almost like a Sharpie. You get a little bit of Sharpie that you get no, on sometimes on Journeyman. No, the back label's completely different too. I'm confused. Here. Alright, California. Don't disappoint me. There's a noticeable difference. But yet, they're like cousins. What is that? Oh. Where is that finish? I'm not sure what that finish is, but this is this is lighter. This is more caramel. This is more caramel. This is like heavy, thick caramel. Yes. This um, is this is more um, oily on the mouthfeel, and this is a little bit light. What is that flavor? I don't know what that is, but I like them. Both. I don't think I've ever had. What is that? 
You know what it's like? When you get like burnt caramel corn at the base and it's got those char stuff, that's what that is, right? Is that what you're getting at the end? Now that you say it. Right? Yeah, it's a little bit of um, extra, mm -hmm. like, yeah. That glob on the bottom. And you're like, ooh, but it's actually like burnt a little bit. But, but it's not, it doesn't go, you know, so sometimes when sugar gets too burnt, it goes almost acrid yeah, and no, like it's bitter. Not, not it's not that. This is the stuff you search for. This actually, the rye is more pronounced in the herbal. On the front. On the front. This is more of a dancing herbal with yeah. the caramel. This right here can be. Um, this is dessert. This is like a very bourbony rye. This is very bourbony, very. Um, we've had a couple ryes lately. This has a punch to it. Oh, we've had some ryes lately that have been sourced from MGP that mm -hmm. lean more the caramely. Yeah. That ha but have more clove. This doesn't really have the clove. No, that I neither like, of these have the clove. But it does have like a ooh herbal spice. But here mm -hmm. comes a caramel bomb. Yeah. It's just very caramel. This one's this one's more on the delicate danger side because it, it has a punch. But the finish that it leaves you with is just sweet. So you're like, oh, that's not dangerous at all. You can all. accidentally drink a lot of it. You can. And rather quickly. But the mid palate is where the punch is. So you don't remember that until you drink it again. The California. The, the mid palate has a little herbal spice. Mm. Is that what you said? Yeah. And then it goes to the sweet. So you forget all about that punch. Well, it starts sweet and ends sweet. So mm -hmm. you forget the middle. It's like in that video game Punch Out, where like how many times you have to like it hit, you know, and then you finally get knocked then out. Then you remember. Oh, then you remember. I'm so I just watched game. out. Yeah. I don't know about this California beating it. It's got something very unique on the back, though. I do enjoy this. Yeah. It's a, the, okay. If I didn't have the Kentucky, I'd be like, oh, this is amazing. But side by side against the Kentucky, it, the Kentucky is through that. It's just beating it. It it is, and you know what? Rightly so, it should have. If California was better than Kentucky. That's an outrage. Friend, California. I know what place it should be in. No, it it's very nice. I actually. Um, if I was to pick a bourbon to compete with, um, as a representative of California, I probably wouldn't pick this one. No. No, you know what I would pick. Oh. Wow. Something we had really recently that I'm just super in love with. 49 Mile. Oh. The single barrel. I do enjoy that. But we're talking about rides here. Oh, I apologize. Yeah. We need to, I guess, open some more um, Redwood Empire stuff. True. So, I, you know who I think who is the winner here? You like Kentucky. Indiana. Because they're always putting out really good They're rides. from Indiana. It's MGP. That's the winner. But side by side, I actually prefer the Kentucky pick over California. On a side by side. If I didn't have this Kentucky pick and only was able to get the California pick, I would be in love with this there's and try to search out other bottles. There's something about this that reminds me of that Stella and Riley try. Slightly different, but on the same vein. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. That. The balance. Oh, well, that's completely different when you just jump back. Yeah. Well, this reminds me a little bit of the Stellan Rye of that, um, how it plays with the herbal and sweetness. Mm -hmm. There's this, like, little dance that reminds yeah. me of that. Yeah. For some reason, though, it, it feels very light on the mouth. Oh, that it's, it's so different. It's so light. And this, this feels is a just, little more caramely like It oil. has more of an oiliness to it. Like, it's it's there. This is like a, little a little bit oilier. thicker. That's weird, because is it... Mm. Oh, it's a tiny bit... Yeah. Like, but the proof points are negligible, no. so I wouldn't say, I think it's that. It's um, just a single barrel. Mm. In my mood right now, I think I would have to give the, um, I would agree with you and give the nod to Kentucky. Sitting in the glass, this whole video, yeah, it smells like a straight bourbon, the Kentucky now. It doesn't even smell like a rye. I smell a little fresh. Like a bourbon. I still smell the freshness that reminds me of rye. It's just, anyway. Oh, it's Thank you for joining us in our video. If you like what we're doing here, please remember to subscribe, like, and give us a comment. Turn your notifications on and join us in our next video. And if you have another one of these states, let us know because I've never heard of this thing. Let me know if we should battle more states. Yeah. All right. Well, I fancy this whiskey. I do too. Cheers.